1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Sukena Abbas. First, the headlines. International Monetary Fund in Pakistan have reached a staff level agreement on extended fund facility ag- arrangement of about $7 billion. President has called for collaborative efforts to ensure sustainable development through China's Global Development Initiative. Pakistan and United States have agreed to enhance cooperation in areas of anti-terrorism, anti-narcotics and security. Final of World Championship of Legends will be played between Pakistan and India in Birmingham, England today. And now the news in detail. International Monetary Fund in Pakistan have reached a staff level agreement on a 37-month extended fund facility arrangement of about $7 billion. This agreement is subject to approval by the IMF's executive board. According to IMF, the new program aims to support Pakistani authorities' efforts to cement microeconomic stability and create conditions for a stronger, more inclusive and resilient growth. This includes steps to strengthen fiscal and monetary policy and reforms to broaden the tax base, improve management of state-owned enterprises, strengthen competition, secure a level playing field for investment, enhance human capital and scale up social protection, through increased generosity and coverage in the Benazir Income Support Program. The IMF further emphasized that continued strong financial support from Pakistan's development and bilateral partners will be critical for the program to achieve its objectives. President Asif Ali Zardari has called for collaborative efforts to ensure sustainable development and common prosperity through China's Global Development Initiative. Virtually addressing the second high-level meeting of the Forum on Global Action for Shared Development organized by the China International Development Corporation Agency in Beijing today, he underscored the importance of viewing global challenges from an Eastern perspective. The President highlighted that GDI has great potential to significantly shape future of the world by promoting shared development. He urged the developing countries to play a leading role in the global development process. Pakistan and the United States have agreed to enhance cooperation in the areas of anti-terrorism, anti-narcotics and security. This came at a meeting between Interior Minister Mohsin Nakwi and U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan Donald Bloom in Islamabad. It was agreed to hold a joint law enforcement dialogue in October. In his remarks, the Interior Minister said the U.S. cooperation is of utmost importance in enhancing the capacity of law enforcement agencies. He said, discussions have been held to enhance cooperation between Islamabad Police and New York Police Department and in this regard, a delegation of Islamabad Police will soon visit New York. Minister for States and Frontier Regions has emphasized Pakistan's enduring friendship and cooperative spirit with Afghanistan, particularly in addressing the concerns of Afghan refugees. Talking to Afghanistan's Ahmed Khan Shakib in Islamabad, the minister called for strengthening bilateral ties between the two neighboring countries. He urged Afghanistan to pursue long-term solutions for its citizens residing in Pakistan, focusing on their return and integration. Afghan envoy appreciated the extension of the POR card validity, acknowledging it as a critical support for Afghan nationals in Pakistan. Pakistan has reaffirmed commitment to humanitarian aid and reconstruction efforts in Gaza. At the United Nations Relief and Works Agency's pledging conference in New York, Second Secretary of the Pakistan Mission to the United Nations, Rabia Ijaz, advocated for a comprehensive reconstruction plan for Gaza. She reiterated Pakistan's readiness to partner in the reconstruction of educational institutions. Five more Palestinians have been martyred in an Israeli airstrike on a home in central Gaza. At least 38,345 Palestinians have been martyred and 88,295 wounded in Israel's war on Gaza since October 7 last year. 
Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control and around the world are observing Kashmiri Martyrs Day today to honor the martyrs of July 13, 1931 and all other Kashmiris who sacrificed their lives in the struggle for freedom from Indian bondage. The day is marked by a complete shutdown in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir with a march towards the martyrs graveyard at Naqshban Sahib and Srinagar where the martyrs of July 13 are buried. The incarcerated leadership of the all-party Suryat Conference has called for the observance of the day. Rallies, seminars and other events will be held in Azad Kashmir and major cities worldwide to pay tribute to the 22 Kashmiri martyrs who were shot one after another by Dogra Maharaja troops in this day in 1931. In the final of World Championship of Legends 2024, Pakistan champions will face Indian champions at Birmingham in England today. The match will start at 9 p.m. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link Radio Pakistan News Official.